Barragrim Ballads was originally a set of 87 uh, poems by Richard Kipling, written way before the First World War about the experiences of the regular Tommy, as he was called, in the British Army all over the world. So they were all written in the style of music hall ballads, um, even though there was no music written for them. So we're doing it at the National Army Museum to help celebrate the end of the First World War, 100 years on. Then being in a thrust like performance space with audience all around, knowing that you're seen by people above, people below, people on the same level as you, people behind you, like having to activate every part of your body instead of just like the front, it's a different way of acting than just a normal theatre production. When it comes to I think my approach to making a lot of the choreography was really um, delving into the rigidness and physicality of your everyday soldier. Personal strength, personal growth, the transformation most people take from being from all different walks of life. It's a very dynamic piece of theatre and it's like really experimental for me yeah. personally because we heard it was a big thing in Europe. Yes. Um, the kind of theatre that we're trying to um, show the audience. So it's really been an interesting project to yeah, work on. Definitely. So I've been doing for theatre for quite a while now, but I've learned so much on this course that I didn't know there was more to learn. So I've, it's just been incredible. All of the creative team are absolutely incredible. It's been fab. I think it just gets better every year you try. There's so much experience and you work with real professionals in the industry that really develop your skills mm -hmm. for the near future. Kind of taken all of that, we've talked about vowel sounds, we've talked about diction and how to achieve an ensemble sound without people standing out. So hopefully they've come away learning something about making a sound as an ensemble rather than standing in the spotlight and singing their favourite show tune. <laughs> They've got so much energy, uh, they make the rehearsal so fun, um, but they're also really focused and they've got such a clear idea of what they want the show to be. It's been amazing, the cast, they're also passionate about what they do, they're also talented as well, and I'm, I feel really honoured to be a part of it. I yeah. mean, it's just been crazy three weeks, but it's been worth it. My left, my we decided to try and contrast the look um, in terms of period and go contemporary rather than period style uh, with, with both costumes and video footage. And also in terms of the projections, we wanted to show the museum, we wanted to see the fantastic architecture of this space. You spend two or three weeks with a bunch of young people who are just as passionate about music theatre as you are and you put together a wonderful show in an incredible venue from a theatre to a space like this. Where 